Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Meaningful Motivations with Tracy Erickson. And of course, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Tracy Erickson. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the spiritual significance of seeing a spider and how you can interpret that as a message from spirit. So stay tuned. As many of my viewers already know, I like to pull spiritual messages from things in nature and from numbers and just from a multitude of different symbols. And so basically, if you see repeating things in your life, it is possible that that is a message from spirit or even from your higher self, a message from God given to you through the symbols of nature. You can see a spider as a message from spirit. If you see spiders repeatedly in your life and it just seems out of place from what you normally see, or if you just keep seeing them in imagery around in your day-to-day -day life over and over again, or even if you see spiders in your dreams, then you can interpret that as a dream symbol that is a message from your subconscious mind. I have been seeing spider across my path a lot lately. Now, I know it is spider season in my area, but I've also experienced them in strange ways and they actually do kind of creep me out as well. I'm a little bit afraid of spiders at the same time. And so, when this all kind of came to a head just the other day, when I was having my morning coffee, I was sitting at my computer with my coffee sitting next to me, and I was reading something on the internet. And as I was reading, I just grabbed my coffee cup and took a drink, and as I placed it back down on the coaster next to me, that's when I glanced down at the cup and noticed a spider was inside of the cup. And I actually took a drink of my coffee with a spider in there. Oh my God. It just grossed me out so, so much. So next thing, I went outside onto the deck and I was sitting there pondering the fact that I just had a spider in my coffee and ugh, it grossed me out so, so much. So as I was sitting there pondering the spider in my coffee and what a spider might actually mean as a spiritual message, my mind just kind of wandered. And just as I was wandering in my thinking, I was reminded that the Bohemian Grove actually has a saying that says, weaving spiders come not here or something like that. And so as I thought of that, for some reason, I said it out loud. And just as I said, weaving spiders come not here, a little baby spider floated right across my face on its web and ended up landing on my patio table right in front of me. I was still so creeped out already because of the spider that I had in my coffee earlier. And now this so it creeped me out even more. And that's when I told myself, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to pull a spiritual message from the experience of the spider so that the spider will stop showing up in my life because I will learn whatever it is it came here to teach me. So as usual, I decided to look into the behavioral patterns and instincts of spiders to kind of ponder what this message might be all about because insects and animals as symbols from your spirit are basically representing different habitual thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors that you have had in your life or that you've been experiencing. And it is possible that the message from spirit could be asking you to bring out these different habitual patterns and behaviors into your life. 
So it all just depends on what's going on in your life at the time of seeing the spider. So what I realized is obviously that spiders like to spend a lot of their time weaving their webs and then waiting to capture their prey. And so the spider could represent the behaviors of having patience and persistence. Now, spiders are also solitary in most cases, and they're actually aggressive towards other members of their very own species. So they like to work alone for the most part. There are some spiders out there who like to live in what is called colonies, and that's like a large group of spiders. But again, most spiders are very solitary animals, and or insects, or whatever they are. And so generally, they are living and working alone. After looking at these behavior patterns of spiders, I obviously realized that part of the spiritual message here is about patience and persistence when it comes to reaching goals. Because the goal of a spider is to capture its prey in the web, which took the patience and persistence to finally attain. So in a similar way, this could be a message from my own spirit, just reminding me that patience and persistence is going to be very important for me at this time. So after looking into the behavior patterns of the spider, I decided to take a look at my medicine cards book to see what the more you know, Native American view of the spider is because the Native Americans looked at nature in very symbolic ways, just like I do. So in my medicine cards book, the poem for spider is spider weaving webs of delight. Weave me a peaceful world, carrying creation in your web, waiting to be unfurled. And about the spider, the message from Spider says, Spider wove the web that brought humans the first picture of the alphabet. As soon as I read that sentence, that Spider uh, wove the web that brought the first alphabet, it reminded me of the story of Charlotte's Web, where the spider actually writes messages in her web for the farmer to read regarding the pig on the farm. So I found that to be very interesting as a piece of the symbology here. So back to the story of the spider. Deer asked Spider what she was weaving and why all the lines looked like symbols. Spider replied, Why dear, it is time for Earth's children to learn to make records of their progress in their Earth walk. Deer answered Spider, But they already have pictures that show through symbols the stories of their experiences. Yes, said Spider, but Earth's children are growing more complex and their future generations will need to know more. The ones to come won't remember how to read the petroglyphs. So it was that Spider wove the first primordial alphabet as she had woven the dream of the world that had become manifest. Spider's dream of the physical world had come to fruition millions of years before. Spider's body is made like the number eight, consisting of two lobe-like parts connected at the waist and eight legs. Spider is the symbol for the infinite possibilities of creation. Her eight legs represent the four winds of change and the four directions on the medicine wheel. This is quite interesting as well because just recently I created a video about the spiritual meaning of cicadas and the number 17. And within that video, I also discussed for a brief moment the spiritual meaning of the number 8 because that was also speaking to me at that time as well. So here's Spider again giving me the symbol of the number eight. Spider weaves the webs of fate for those who get caught in her web and become her dinner. This is similar to humans who get caught in the web of illusion. 
in the physical world and never see beyond the horizon into the other dimensions. The web of fate also represents a wheel of life which does not include any alternatives or solutions. It is typically human to get caught in the polarity of good or bad fortune without realizing that we can change at any time. If we're not decisive enough about changing our lots in life, we may end up being consumed by our fears and limitations. Speaking of fears and limitations, I mean, I'm afraid of spiders, <laughs> strangely. I know I'm a lot bigger than they are, but they have venomous fangs and they're so creepy and they have eight legs. Oh my gosh, it's so gross. But it's part of the message here is to not fear sharing the story that I have to tell. Because in many ways in my life, there are times where I want to speak my full truth and I do. But it's sometimes I hold back small pieces of the story that might actually enhance the story even more. Because a lot of times I'm just afraid to share myself too intimately, if you know what I mean. A lot of things are saying that spiders are just simply a good omen. I also just know this is a message from my spirit team letting me know that my patience and my persistence is also paying off in big ways. And it's almost a reminder to just keep the faith and to continue building what it is that I'm building in the world. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can turn on the notifications bell if you would like to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.